Yeah, but she's probably okay. You know what I'm saying? The reason why I'm like this because uh, it's 5 a.m. I was about to go sleep, forgot to do my actions. Don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Kind of don't have a shirt on. Don't want to uh, uh, have a weirdo screenshot my nipples and weird shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Put it as a profile pet like chicken or fridge fighter. Yeah, the real true sore horror story. Hey. My name is Donovan, and I'm a Donovan. year old light skinned boy. Yeah, why is his name Donovan? I was about to say Donovan is a black nigga, so why is he, a, is he white? It's because he said light skinned nigga, you thought he was white? Light skin is not white, light skin is light skin. I was 11 or 12, I can't remember. All I remember is that I was in the fifth grade at the time. Anyways, one day I got home from school and called up my friend Ethan. He's probably friend about 10 or 11. Third grade and we're still friends to this day. I was 10 or 15. I asked if we should play basketball at my school's park. So I got my basketball and a few cold water bottles and put them all in my backpack. I rode my bike over to the school basketball court. Okay. I sat there a few Maybe minutes Uber. because Ethan's house wasn't as close to the school as mine was. He got to the court around 4 p.m. We started to play basketball for a few hours before Ethan said we should go to the sewer tunnels. There were some large sewer tunnels about six or seven feet tall, and they were only about 15 minutes away on bike. I was bored of playing basketball for a few hours, so I said sure, and we rode our bikes 15 minutes away to the tunnels. They okay. were in a ditch and under a pretty busy road to describe them a little. When me and Ethan got there, we hopped off our bikes and started walking through the tunnels, pushing our bikes with us. We walked for maybe about 30 seconds before he recommended we should turn our bikes around while pushing them. In case we see anything, we can just hop on our well, bikes. That's a smart ass nigga. Instead of having to turn them around and then get on to pedal away. I said that's a good idea and could possibly save our lives, so we did it. We walked in the tunnel for a few smart more minutes with more flashlights on, looking for cool old stuff. Out of nowhere, he stopped me and said, be quiet. Do you hear that? I was listening for a few seconds, and then I heard it. I heard loud breathing and a giggling going through the tunnel. Yep, yeah, that's when you turn around. With a worried look that we should get out of here. I was scared as hell. I obviously agreed. We got on our bikes and started pedaling as fast as we could to get out of there. As we were riding through the tunnel, the breathing and giggling turned into this very loud and psychopathic screaming and laughter. What the fuck? Chasing us. After a few seconds, there were some loud footsteps following us. We pedaled for our lives for one more minute to the end of the tunnel. When we got to the end of the tunnel, it was completely dark outside. But at the tunnel entrance, there was a light right above it. I looked back after 30 seconds of pedaling. What I saw almost made me fall off. What was it, nigga? Pass out. There were six men. What all the fuck? Suits, and they were all wearing terrifying white masks. Each one of them had a machete with blood all over it. I also noticed that their masks and suits had blood smeared all over them. I saw Yo, the them and screamed, and they started chasing us. We were still pedaling away, desperately trying to get to my house. We got to my house after 10 minutes. We hid our bikes in my garage, because if they saw the house with the same bikes we rode away in, they would know it was us. Earl and I burst into the house where my parents were watching TV. We told our parents what we saw, and they called the police. Ethan and I told the cops where we saw the men, and they drove over there. When the policemen entered the tunnel, two of the men charged at them with machetes, and the police ended up having to kill those two men. I don't feel bad. The other four men were found in a room in one of the tunnels. In the yeah. room, they found the four men, but in that room, there were around 20 dead bodies. And what four the kids still alive with tape around their mouths. The police arrested the men and Yo. the kids, and thankfully, this is why you don't go places like this, bro. Like, nigga, poor, poor kids probably just want to explore the shit. 20 of them were dead, nigga, and then the other ones were just sitting there with the dead bodies. What the, the fuck? Right. The four men got sentenced to death and were thankfully executed about a year ago. Oh, it's a haunting memory. Nigga, those are shit that you think. Ethan said we should turn our bikes around because if we didn't and we were too slow, we could have ended up like those 20 unlucky people before us. Nah, that's crazy, bro. I repeat to them niggas if that shit true, bro. I'm gone.